Boy, what a pretty sight. Good afternoon everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today we are doing a video on some more suspension components. Today we have got some Viking Berserker shocks that have been custom valved by Kelly at Keltrak. So we are going to install these puppies today, as you can see over here on the car. We've already got the rear, uh, rear wheels off. And right there is what we are going to be replacing, that guy right there. But before we do that, we have to take the old ones out, take the mount off the top, and trim the uh, bump stop a little bit, and move everything over to the aftermarket shocks before we can put them in. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, now that we've got the stock one out, we're gonna take it over to the bench and take it apart and assemble it onto the new shuck. All right, guys. Well, welcome back. Uh, that was uh, a little more time consuming than I thought it was going to be. And I really just didn't have the ability to hold a camera and do it all. Uh, everything required both of my hands. And I don't have a headset uh, to put the camera on yet. So um, I'm just going to have to kind of show you what we did. So what we did here, you can see there's our new Viking shock. And so we've got our mount in there at the bottom. It does come with new hardware for the bottom. It comes with a bolt, a locking nut, and two flat washers. So those flat washers are in there. And then at the top, it's just the stock mount. You can see there with the stock bolts. Uh, I have torqued those to the stock torque specs. At the bottom, I've also torqued to the stock, uh, stock torque specs. So that's what we've got. And is that way on both sides. Um, we do have our dust boot on there and we did cut the, um, isolator or the bump stop, but that was actually already done when we put the springs in. So that's pretty much it. We are starting, uh, at six compression, nine rebound. That is where Kelly, based on his little guide, uh, recommends. And we are going to try to hit the track Thursday evening and just see what it does. Even though I know I'm on stock power right now, um, I have done, you know, the wheels, weight reduction and I'm also tomorrow going to be um, removing the back seat out of the car um, I did buy a uh, rear seat delete kit which will, should be here in a couple of weeks so because we're gonna go ahead and put that in anyway I'm gonna go ahead and remove the um, the back seat and just for more weight savings and we'll see between the wheels the weight savings and the shocks we'll see if we can get it to 60 any better at the track and see if we can't uh, get into the high 11s uh, again. So with that being said, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. There is more to come. Yes, we are going to start with power uh, pretty soon, uh, depending on how available parts are. I'm still kind of going back and forth between Whipple or Twin Turbo. And Whipple kits right now are like 20 plus weeks out. Twin Turbo kits are probably like 12. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to be doing all the supporting mods, fuel, suspension, obviously we're doing now, axles, drive shaft, built trans, that kind of stuff. So stay tuned to the channel if you want to see that kind of stuff. We have big things coming. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>